What, you see this married woman? See the ring? You know what that means? Yeah, mm -hmm. it uh, means whatever we want it to mean. As for me, I never stand in the way of some discreet fun between consenting adults. Oh, you are amazing. The amazing Dr. Death making a pass at me. Mm. And I'm going to ruin 20 years of a happy marriage? Um, you're not worth it. Don't knock it until you try it. You keep your hands to yourself, or I cuff you, I book you, and I jail you till you learn a little respect. Baby. How you doing, Doc? I'm all right. Actually, I'm more than all right. I think I'm in love. One tough chick. Well, she has to be. She's a wife, a mother, and a police detective. Margot's a cop? Yeah, and a good one. Margot Hughes, Oakdale PD's finest. Hughes as in? As in daughter-in-law. She's, uh, she's married to my son, Tom. You remember Tom. He's the district attorney. Tom's a lucky man. Yeah, we think so. Can I buy you a drink? No, I'm good, but... Uh... Thanks. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. Mm. Nice play, Doc. Next time you try to score with a stranger, you might want to make sure she's not the boss's daughter-in-law. And I hear she sleeps with her gun loaded. Wave to the nice detective. Hi, Casey. Hi, Hi Mrs. Harris. Um. Curtis is in the lobby saying he's been throwing a football with Doc Reese? Uh-huh. <laughs> What's he talking about? The man, the myth, and the legend. Did you meet him? Mm -hmm. oh, hey, introduce me, Mom. You gotta introduce me, Mom. All right, all right, all right. Down, 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 down. Oh. Doc Reese, I'd like you to meet my son, Casey. It's nice to meet you, Casey. This is, uh, this is, like, awesome. Uh, my, my friend Curtis said you threw him a pass. I thought he was yanking my chain. No, not at all. You know, what to do? come out to the lobby, and I'll show you boys a couple of my favorite plays. Dad, lobby, football with Dr. Death. Oh, check this out. I'll be back in a few. Wait, wait, be careful, your hands. Of course, of course. Oh, I think I better go, too. There's way too much testosterone out there for this to end well. <laughs> what, you're not going to join the herd? No, I got to call the office. Something's up. Always is. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll see you in a bit. So, uh, you and Dr. Death were looking very cozy earlier. Yeah, uh, he made a pass at me. What? A pet? And your husband was sitting right across the room? You must have been furious. Oh. I liked it. A lot. Sounds like Doc Reese is quite the operator. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> I mean, how incredibly arrogant. What? What are you, nuts? A hot guy like that making a pass at me? I gotta tell you, I, I liked it. I mean, look, Casey's got this poster of him from his heyday with the washboard abs. You can bounce a quarter off of, oh, come on, the bedroom eyes. Why are you gawking at me? You are a married woman. Yeah, but that's what makes it such a kick. I mean, here is this gorgeous specimen of a man who's looking at me like I'm a woman. I mean, not a married woman, not Mrs. Hughes, not Detective Hughes, not Mom. Just that redhead, Margot. And, you know, what's so terrible about that? You know something? I've been there, and all I'm saying... Uh, uh, just be careful, okay? Jessica, this guy makes a dozen passes a day. You're probably next on his hit list. Oh, yay. <laughs> hey, you missed quite a show out there. Casey playing quarterback to Doc Reese. Really? Well, that's nice him to toss the ball around with the boys. He's a big fan of Margot's, too. I don't think you noticed that. Well, I mean, who wouldn't be? She's beautiful, bright, funny, sexy. Let me give you some advice. Take her home and tell her all those things. I play ball with Doc Reese. Yeah, man, you gotta stick around and do the sports show. Yeah, come on, man. Oakdale is a great town. It's, it's close enough to Chicago to have fun, but far enough away that you can relax. Hey, I would love to stay. 
But after the way I destroyed that lamp out there, they might run me out of town. Oh, I'm sure Kim will be happy to foot the bill this man, time. Man, you were poetry in motion. I don't know where that lamp came from, but... Oh, well, I'll tell you what. When I go wide, I go wide. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, it's, it's great to meet you, you and too. we're gonna let you relax Thanks. a little bit. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. That was great meeting you, Doc. Hey. Well, I've got to hand it to you. You are quite the entertainer. They couldn't get enough of you. Well, I hope the rest of Oakdale feels the same way. I have no doubt that you are going to shake this town up on camera and all. So you'll give Kim a good report? If I were you, I'd be more concerned with what Bob is going to tell Kim. I made a move and got shot down. Is that a crime around here? You better hope it's not. About anybody else, but all that football has gotten me hungry for something more substantial than cheese fit. <laughs> well, this one's always up for dinner. Well, all right, well, let's go check out a menu. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll yeah. be there in a minute. Yes, we'll be there in a minute. You know, you will never ever admit it, but Casey really misses Sarah. So do I. You know, the house is just so quiet with Sarah and Bonnie gone, and pretty soon Curtis will be going away to college and moving away. I don't know, I guess I'm just starting to feel this dull ache, like something's missing. It'll pass. Yeah, don't get me wrong, I mean, my marriage to Ben is, is, is wonderful, the life that we've built together, but it feels incomplete. You know, you just need to get back to work. Well, yes and no. Can I tell you a secret? Oh, yes, you must. I want to have a baby. A baby? I know, it's crazy, right? No. No. No, you're just in maternal overdrive because Bonnie is gone and Sarah is no, gone. Well, it's not it's... just missing Sarah and Bonnie, and it's not just boredom from not going to work every day. And Ben has always wanted a big family. Yeah, well, what did you say when you told him? I haven't told him yet. I don't even know if I will. Mm. But listen, uh, don't you tell him because it's not fair. If it's not fair to him, who? What? You talking about me? All right, now. I know you two were talking about me. So out with it. I was just telling Margo that you have to be in the OR early tomorrow, and I need to get you home. Right. Oh, yeah. I did get a little carried away talking to Doc and playing football and everything, <laughs> so uh, let's get rolling. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you too soon. Yeah. Um, try to stay out of trouble, detective. I'm gonna get the car. Okay. Thank I hope we'll see more of each other, and I say that with all due respect, detective. As long as you keep those hands in your pocket, then we shouldn't have any more problems. But if you do cross the line again, I can and will, I assure you, make your life miserable. Ladies, it's, it's been interesting. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of Doc? One of a kind. I hope. <laughs>